Hey guys, welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer card game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Make and Break by Moody McCaw and is for ages 17 and up, 2 to 6 players. It takes about 25 minutes to play the game. In the game Make or Break, you're going to be playing as a matchmaker of sorts. You're going to be drawing cards that are going to involve the different types of people, male and female, as well as little children. And you're going to get cards like proposals and divorces and marital affairs and all that kind of stuff. And your objective, objective, objective is to play couples on the board. On your turn, you're going to draw a card and either play a couple or play a, a single card. And that card could be a kid or could be an action card like getting a couple to be married, getting a card to break up, so on and so forth. Your objective is to score points by coupling your characters together. And for each and every different type of player set, so a two-player game score this many points to win and a three-player score this many and so on and so forth, you're going to be doing that until somebody's going to score that point in order to win the game. And that is the basic idea of the game. It's a simple deck of cards which you're going to be playing down onto the board and trying to stop players from taking away your couples and trying to keep all the couples on the board as best as you can as well as messing around with the other opponents. So let's go and take a look. So here we have the contents of Make and Break along with everything that is uh, included like the box here and the rule book. You're going to be getting a full-on deck of cards here which is going to give you a ton of different types of cards. You're going to have males and females and it's going to tell you their sexual preferences up on the top left hand corner. This is a male who likes females. This is a male who likes females and males. This is a female who likes females and males, and so on and so forth. Now I must say there is an error or a typo in this game, or at least I think there is, because all of the female looking characters are male and like females, and there are no female who like male characters in the game, so I'm pretty sure it's a typo, but I just want to let you guys know that, that is in this specific version of the game. Uh, these little guys here are the kids, and then you have a ton of action cards that are like proposals, divorce, patch up, marital affairs, breakup, happily married, so on and so forth. You're going to take all of the cards here into these deck of cards, this make or break deck, and then you're going to shuffle it all together. And once you do that, you're going to give every single player five cards. On your turn, you're going to go ahead and uh, play a, draw a card from the deck and play a card or a pair of couples in, onto the field. So we'll go ahead and look at this first player's hand here. He's got a bunch of special cards here, so he's going to draw his card here. All right, so we've got a male who likes females and a female who likes male and females. So she can go, he can go ahead and she or he, who's playing, we're playing these cards, he can go and play this couple here. And that is going to score them 10 points. And there is actually in the rule book, it'll tell you what the couples are worth and along with uh, what you need in order to win the game. So here, here it says a card and couple. One straight couple is worth 10 points. A gay lesbian couple is worth 20. A kid is worth five. Twins are worth 10. Proposal, you get 10 points as long as it's on, attached to a couple, which makes them married. And a single parent is five points. And that will happen in certain areas of the game, certain, certain uh, variants of the game. But after you go ahead and play a card, that's going to end your turn. And the next player is going to get to go by drawing a card and looking at their hand as well. So right here we've got a gay male and another gay male. That's going to go ahead and put that down. And that will score him 20 points. And the points are going to stay on the table until they are removed. So your objective is to try and get to a certain point total. And for instance, in this version of the game, it is two players gets to 100 points. Whoever gets 100 points first is the winner. But there are different uh, rules depending on the different variations or number of players in the game. So that is that. And then the next player is going to go ahead and draw their card. And this card can be used. Break up. You can break up any couple that is not married by simply playing on top of that couple. That would be your turn, though. That player would then have to discard their couple. Um, an extra marital affair is only is, is actually a very strong, scary card, and I'll explain that in a second. We'll talk about proposal first, though. So if it was this guy's turn, he can go ahead and play proposal on this couple here. And if this happens, they're going to try and propose to get married. In which case, you're going to go ahead and flip a coin or flip this lens cap. If you get a heads, then you're going to go ahead and get them married. If it's a tails, you discard all the cards along with the kids here. So you, if you get a married, though, it's going to give you an extra 10 points, and it's going to have a stronger bond, making, it, uh, making them not able to be broken up but they are able to get divorced and they are able to have an extramarital affair. There's also secret affairs. An extramarital affair, so let's go ahead and pair some of these peoples up here. This is a female who likes uh, males and a male who likes females, something like that. Uh, let's go ahead and do this here. And so if I would use an extramarital affair here, I would have to choose a married couple along with another couple. So maybe these two here, I could play these on both of them. And if they have nothing to counter that, they would lose the proposal card. You take two of them that have to match. They have to sexually match together, like their sexual preferences match. You could take those and remove the rest. It's a very, very strong card, this extramarital affair. An affair card works the same way, but it's not with married couples. And then, of course, there's other cards like divorce and whatnot. Uh, whenever you want on your turn, you can also go ahead and play stuff like Little Kids. 
kids. And little kids are actually, like I showed you before, they have a little symbol on the top corner right here, this guy. You can put this on a couple and that would give them a kid. And then you're gonna continue playing the game until you eventually find somebody's going to hit that point total. And once that happens, the game is over. The player who has that 10 100 points for a two player game or 80 for a three player game, so on and so forth is the winner of the game. You'll continue until that goes on. Let's go ahead and talk about it. All right, so let's go ahead and get talking about make and break. Well, the first thing that comes to mind with this game is the simple card playing game. You're gonna sit around in a circle, draw a card, play cards. You can play a couple, or you can play a singular card on yourself, like marriage or proposal, or you can play something like break up or divorce on another player, which will get your, their couples to be discarded. Of course, there's one interesting card in the game, which is patch up, that is going to be used on, not on your turn, which you can use um, on somebody else's turn when they're trying to break your couples up or somebody else's couples up. You can play that to stop a divorce card from happening or a break up card from happening. There are some strong cards in the game, like secret affair and extramarital affair. Secret affairs can make two couples uh, break apart and have those two couples, uh, one of each of the partners in the coupling, go to to you and get you points and then the extramarital affair is going to give you a married couple partner and a non-married couple partner you can take it from different players or from the same player very 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 strong you've also got the proposal card which can protect your people from uh, things like breaking up as well as the secret affair and then you've also got happily married which is going to protect them from everything a happily married couple is not going to be able to be divorced or have extramarital affairs or secret affairs or anything like that um, and that all works all well and fine. It's a very simple, basic game as far as playing the cards down and putting the couples together. Uh, if you got people who like simple card games, uh, grandparents, family, friend, family, kids, that kind of stuff, it will work like that. Um, the one thing I will say is the typo in the game. I would not recommend getting the, this version of the game if there's a typo in it because it makes all the females, uh, female characters, males who like female, fe males who like males. Something like that. It just it makes it very confusing and very wonky. It's hard to um, play the game because you're like, oh well, this character is a male, but like this character is a male that likes females, but it's actually not. It's a female that's supposed to like males. Or I'm not exactly sure. So we just played it as the as the um, uh, cis cis, cis uh, sex uh, characters. So I mean, I'm not gonna say it's necessarily problematic, but it, it can cause a lot of confusion. Um, there's also the gay lesbian couples are worth more points than the straight couples, and I think that has to do with the fact that they are more difficult to put together. I, I'm not exactly sure how that all functions, but as a card game, it works fairly well. And it's fun. I really enjoy the fact that you're going ahead and putting cards on different players, and there's a little bit of that take that action, as well as a little bit of understanding how um, sexual preference works, so that's kind of like a learning aspect of the game, which I think is positive. Um, and another weird wonky mechanic is when you're going and putting the couples together with marriage, you have to flip a coin, and if, it's 50-50. Either that your couple gets divorced or removed because you didn't get married, uh, and you lose all those points, or they do get married, and you're going to get that additional 10 points, and it'll protect them a little more. So it's kind of a chance card if you want to play that. But it can work out really negatively towards you, and it can make you lose the game if you want to keep trying to get people married. So it's kind of a negative positive to getting married in the game. Um, overall, the game's okay. If you enjoy basic card games, and if you like the little aspect of sexual preference in a card game, you might like Make or Break. For me, I probably wouldn't play it all that much, but if I was asked to play it, I'd probably try, 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 play it on the occasion. But overall, I'll give the game a right, right down the middle there. So go ahead and check it out, Make or Break, in the description if you're interested. And uh, yeah, go ahead and pick it up on Amazon. <laughs>